I'm Stephen Woodgate. Welcome to Medeski Stadium, home of my favourite football club, Reading FC. It's where I come and spend my Saturday afternoons cheering on a team I love. From a very young age, I can remember my dad taking me to uh, where Reading used to play at Elm Park and standing on the tireless end, not being able to see, stuck behind some people, uh, watching some really bad football. We moved into this stadium in 1998 and I can remember uh, the 3-0 win here against Luton Town with Grant Bretner scoring at that end. And it was um, one occasion that I really I remember with my dad. It's just an amazing atmosphere and uh, I love watching the blue and white heats. On August 1st, 2006, um, my dad was sent to hospital for some tests. He actually found out that he had leukaemia and two weeks later he'd be into hospital. He was kind of like trapped in a room because he weren't allowed to expose himself to any infections or any illness. And he always looked forward to when I used to come in on a Saturday evening after the game or on a Sunday where I could just talk about, talk about the game. And it's something which he really appreciated. And I could just remember a period over Christmas 2006 where he just wasn't dead. It was, it was down to seven and a half stone and it was almost just a skeleton of what he was. That, that's just an image that would always stick in my head. That my dad, he was this big, brave man, you know, he was not succumbing, but fighting. In early February 2007, he actually had his transplant. And it's, it's an amazing how quick the turnaround is. He just got progressively better and better and fatter and, <laughs> and started to look like my dad again. My dad was spared, but I know others haven't been. So I'm running the London Marathon to uh, show awareness of the great work Anthony Nolan does, that a simple swab of the mouth can actually save someone's life. Um, he feels the cold much more now, so um, we try to go for more summer games or late spring games. It's just really good to be sat alongside him, watching the Blue and White Hoops play.